cases a junk science and in other cases a ideologically based uh, opposition to sound and ethical science. Uh, we see it uh, in the case of uh, global warming and controlling greenhouse gases, uh, a, a tremendous uh, opposition, uh, mindless in my opinion, and quite dangerous. Here we're going to focus on stem cell research and a similar kind of opposition that uh, is opposing it on ideological grounds. The person I'm running against, of course, uh, voted against the key bill, uh, SB 253, uh, which was passed uh, in the state legislature that uh, authorized stem cell research. He also voted against the resolution that passed uh, the state senate to urge the Congress uh, not to go along with President Bush in resisting uh, solid and progressive stem cell research. This is a very promising technology. Uh, Great scientists are working on it. And because of the failures of the federal government, California has had to step in. California has led the way uh, under Democratic and Republican governors alike. Under uh, Governor Reagan, when he was the governor of the state, California obtained an exception to have tighter uh, controls on automobile emissions so that the California air could be cleaned up. Under Governor Davis and Governor Schwarzenegger, California has passed bills to control uh, gases that produce global warming uh, in the face of an utter failure on the part uh, of the Washington government, particularly under President Bush. And now under stem cells, uh, California, under Proposition 71 and other legislative enactments, is uh, taking up the responsibility to pioneer this technology. I'm proud to be a, a supporter. I pledge as Attorney General to fight these lawsuits that are attempting to uh, kill this promising uh, technology and to do whatever I can to help uh, alleviate suffering uh, through stem cell research. It's not going to happen overnight, uh, but over time, uh, this is a tremendous uh, pathway uh, to relieve human suffering. And I just want to ask any of you two, do you want to say anything? Absolutely. It's Karen Miner, it's on Accordion 3. And I am a strong supporter of stem cell research, a member of California's 5 million people with disabilities. The California Institute of Regenerative Medicine is the envy of the world, and it is the hope of millions of suffering people. I'm unfortunate that fundamentalist theology for sound science. Chuck Kuchinian has fought against stem cell research at every opportunity. So we have one candidate that supports stem cell research and one candidate that's against it. I'm here representing the diabetes community. My name is Kathleen Fraser, and I've had type 1 juvenile diabetes for over 10 years. In addition, my brother and my 11-year-old niece also have diabetes. Um, in short, uh, diabetes is a 24-hour day, seven day a week job. In fact, if diabetes was my employer, it would be the Attorney General's job to go after the employer for unlawful labor. And I really feel that we are at a pivotal point in decision making um, that's going to affect our ability to cure many diseases. And those of us that are living with chronic illnesses and diseases like diabetes, um, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, spinal cord injuries um, are going to be benefiting greatly, and I'm hoping in my lifetime. And like I said, I'm here to support Prop 71 and to support the Attorney General who is going to be supporting Prop 71 um, because that's, that's the hope of our future. And people say, if you have your health, you have everything. And what I say is if you have hope, you have everything. And to me, stem cell research is a big part of that hope. And I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you very much. I couldn't speak to more eloquently. Uh, any questions? Uh, Mr. Brown, yeah. uh, Chuck Pujigian says that he, while he doesn't like the, the idea of stem cell research, he would defend this, the laws of the state, uh, much like you say that you would defend the death penalty laws even though you're morally opposed to it. 
and happened for a long time. So why does his position, uh, why is his position less valid than yours? Well, uh, turning it around, is, is he going to take off his TV ads and attacking me on capital punishment if I don't do ads on stem cell research? Yes, sir. I see the Attorney General uh, very actively involved in, in uh, regulatory matters, in advocacy uh, before the federal government. Uh, this is still a very live issue before Congress. And as the Attorney General of California, I would have weight and the ability uh, to influence Congress and other Attorney Generals uh, to advance the cause at the political level in Washington. Certainly Chuck Pacini is not going to do that because he's committed himself against me. How would you compare and contrast the state of stem cell research and its promise today with the research on computers and semiconductors and software uh, when you were governor? Uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I would hesitate to compare uh, biological research with uh, uh, computer research. Uh, certainly, uh, in 1976, in 1978, uh, I couldn't have imagined the internet uh, or uh, cell phones or the microchip uh, to the extent that uh, information has been uh, uh, brought uh, so cheaply. Uh, these massive uh, storage and manipulation information with these chips. Uh, certainly that was uh, very hard to foresee. Here, uh, similarly in stem cell research, uh, you've heard the hopes uh, and the visions of the possibilities. Now, whether that's in five years or ten years or longer, uh, I can't say. But we do know that California became uh, the, the uh, center of worldwide uh, chip technology in, in Silicon Valley. And with the effort in stem cell research, there is that uh, analogous possibility in both San Diego and the Bay Area uh, if the best researchers are attracted to the state, because they certainly aren't being attracted to be federally financed. Uh, well, number one, as I said, uh, I, would be, I will make sure that when uh, bills uh, come before the legislature or there are regulatory challenges before administrative agencies or if there are any more initiatives, that I would uh, champion this very important research. And also, I would uh, solicit other attorney generals to champion stem cell research through their good offices and, and the impact they could have on their respective senators and members of Congress. Uh, I, I would be an eloquent uh, spokesman uh, for this, uh, for ethical stem cell yeah, research. Wonderful things are going to happen. I like the comparison, actually, with um, microcomputers and, and chips because uh, we see these cells as a similar platform. You know, they can make every kind of cell in the human body. And um, what we envision in the future is uh, maybe more profound. And all this consumer electronics, you know, it's big business and makes people happy. By the impact yeah. we could for yeah. diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. So many of these yeah. 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 So, and we would tend to very much appreciate it. Let's see. What we're doing in here is we're growing these embryos. They're like vitamins and cells on the planet. So, we're going to just it and load it. There's hundreds of thousands of cells in the Cells are little groupings of dots. Yeah, right. So they're sort of like cobblestones. But they, each of those colonies is... Look at the line. Those are the, the, the other cells. Spaces, there's, there's lines. Those other lines are, those are the, uh, the mouse cells. You know, all the original lines. But they're are, lines. They're like little roads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, there's other cells in addition. Those are mouse cells. You probably heard that the original cell lines that President Bush allowed the federal funding for are all contaminated. Okay, well, good. Well, I'll look forward to this tele documentary. All right. Thank you. All right, see you later.